Hello everyone, this is Super Cool Type for another Super Cool Reviews. Remember last week when I reviewed the regular show movie? Because you no, know, I liked it. It was good. So, but, my brain keeps telling me that I should review another, another movie based on a cartoon. That of course being Ed and Eddie's Big Picture Show. But for those unaware, it's based on, based on a cartoon called Ed and Eddie, which ran from the late 90s to the original to well, the late 2000s. It's now seen as a standalone story. It's about three kids with the same, whose names have the same in letter with the letter E. There's Ed, the big one, who's also kind of dumb, and is also obsessed with movies, comic books, even butter toast. There's Ed, and but he's usually called Double D, who's the smart one and always wears a sock on his head, which we never really get to see what's behind it. And then there's Eddie, the small uh, one who's also a leader and obsessed with getting quarters. Why? So he can get jaw breakers. Because, yeah, that, that, that's pretty much every plot of the entire series. He's, the three ads are always building scams, trying to get quarters, but ultimate results in them lose, failing the scams and losing their money. They also have a bunch of a colorful characters along the way, including a bully named Kevin, a girl named Naz, Ed's sister, who's also a bossy pants named Sarah, her friend Jimmy, Jimmy a guy, a boy named, named Johnny with his imaginary friend with a piece of wood for some reason named Plank, and, and a, a canker sister who are, well, let's just say, the same reason how Freddy Krueger was born, or in Nightmare on Elm Street 3. So during the show's run after this, after the fifth season, the creator Danny, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, he wants on to end this series on a stronghold of a TV movie. Since most most Cartoon Network shows were doing TV movies, I mean, and we got Ben Ten Race Against Time, but we all know how that turned out. Uh, Teen Titans Go to Tokyo, I forgot, what, and and that's all I know. Oh, the story for this movie is pretty simple, at least. He's, it, oh, apparently one of the Ed scams, like every scam in the entire episode goes wrong. Except this time it actually goes horribly, horribly wrong. In fact, it opens with the entire cul-de-sac being destroyed. Oh yeah, I mean, buildings are blown up. Up, uh, houses are destroyed. Hoy parks are ravaged. It's, it's pretty damn depressing. The Ed's on the run because the other kids wants to kind of beat the living hell out of them for because they da cut because the Ed's damaged them. But the Ed's managed to escape in Eddie's brother's car, which they don't actually know how to try. Just Ed just ran with the car and they're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Now, now the Ed's just want now Eddie has the idea to go to his brother's house with the other Ed's. As in order to avoid for the kids, but the kids themselves want to chase after the ads so they can beat them up. up. Can the ads race to Eddie's brother's house? Will we ever find out what's under behind Double D's sock? I think you know the answer to that. And most importantly, will his brother accept them? Oh, what do you think? Actually, it's not what you think, Ink, Ink later. Okay, let's talk about some good things. The animation is like the one from season five. Like it's a little bit more modernized. Like you know, back then it was the early nineties. It's like the late nineties, so the animation was kind of blurry and a little white. This one at least has bright and colors and some neat outlines. Things. There's a lot of dramatic moments in this movie, which which are actually kind of tear dropping, and they're actually pretty. Pretty intense moments. Oh, moments. The ch these scenes are probably, in my opinion, the best scenes out of the movie. I mean, they're action packed, but they're also funny. There's a lot of good laughs in here, including a dirty joke. I won't say what it is, though, but you can look it up on the internet. That's the ending to this movie is perfect. A perfect way to end off a series, except for the post credit scene, because I think this is is what inspired Marvel to do stuff, but they never made it another season. Why? Well, because one of the cast members died in Canada, I think, and what, because he was shot by the police. I don't know.
a wet full story. Look it up on the internet. Anyway, so yeah, enjoy this movie. Movie. If you like the show, you're definitely gonna like this movie. I rate Ed and Eddie's Big Picture Show 69 jaw breaking ads out of 100. See ya.